Today I'm going to show you how to properly disassemble and clean your Winchester Waterfowl SXP 12 gauge shotgun. Giant walleye. We put to get some birds. I'm gonna take some chance. I got Doyle behind the camera. He's gonna be shooting this for me. Get him, Maggie! What's going on folks? TCG back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to properly disassemble and clean your Winchester Waterfowl SXP 12 gauge shotgun. So the first step to disassembling this shotgun is there's a cap right here on the plug. You got to unscrew that just like this. Comes right off. So now that the cap's off, the barrel just comes off like that. That's one piece to the gun. So the next piece to this puzzle, you're going to want a screwdriver or something and there's basically a pin on the gun that lets you take the action out, you gotta pop that pin out. Now that the pin is popped out, action just slides right out of the gun. And then you got another piece to the puzzle. So the next part of the shotgun that comes out, it has the firing pin and also the pump action part of the shotgun. That just slides right out like that. And that's another piece. And then from there, the, act the uh, firing pin right here, you just kinda pop it like that. And it comes off like that. So now that you got your gun taken apart, you got to have your cleaning materials with you. I got my gun rags, I got some gun oil, and I got some gun bore cleaner. And some other stuff here as well. You're going to need a barrel stick. This is going to go down your barrel to clean the thing. You're going to need some rod attachments so that you can get your rags down there. So now I got my cleaning stuff ready to go. I got my gun taken apart. I'm just gonna wipe everything down with a cloth, get any visible dirt off the gun. So just wipe everything down, get it all nice and clean. Make her sparkle. Beat her off a little bit. <laughs> you really wanna give her a good rub. Really get that dirt off. My gun's pretty dirty because I don't clean her as much as I should. You should be cleaning this uh, at least every couple of weeks when you're hunting with it. I do not do that. I probably clean it every month at most. Definitely should be doing it more. I'm going to try to do it more. So now that I got everything taken apart, everything's wiped down, it's time to start cleaning. I'm going to start by cleaning the inside of my barrel. I'm just going to put a piece of cloth on the stick. Then you got your bore cleaner here and you're going to the stuff's made so kids can't get into it. Sometimes I'm a kid. Bro, I actually can't open that. There we go. Some good child locking mechanism there. So what I like to do is I just dip her right in it. Just go. So I like to dip her right in. She's nice and wet now. She's not dripping. You don't want her dripping. So now you take the stick and you just shove it down the barrel. I go all the way down. Just like that, back and forth, you know, spin her in there. Kind of just do your thing, whatever you think works. Just back and forth, just like that. And then she comes out, and she'd be a little dirty. She's a little black. She's not that bad, though. And then I like to look down the barrel. See a little bit of gunk still in there, so I'm going to go for round two. Always go for round two if you got to, if you got the energy. So I did round two. She's still looking, she's looking a bit dirtier, so she should be good. All right, so now I'm done with the barrel. Now what we'd like to do, get another piece of cloth. Never cut towards yourself, always cut towards the camera guy because if the blade goes flying, you don't want to be the one hurt, you want the camera guy to get the blade in the eye. So you got a tube style here, that's where it goes onto the plug, so you got to get inside there with the uh, stick. So just give her. This thing's a wider than the barrel, so you can kind of just go to town on it. So we just finished up with this. She's looking nice and clean. There's some metal here you're going to want to get with after, once you get back to a bigger size drag. For now, I'm just going to continue with the smaller pieces. So, what I got here is the action. I'm going to dip it, dip some solvent on there, just like that. 
And I'm just going to start wiping her down. Get as much of the gunk off as you can. Right, that piece is good to go. I'm just going to quickly do the firing pin here. So now I'm just going to do this firing pin mechanism. Just wipe her down. This thing's pretty clean for the most part. So now I'm coming back to the pump action of the gun. I'm just going to wipe down the metal up here. So that's good. And now I'm going to take the same rag because it's still pretty clean. This part, these parts of the gun weren't that bad. And you're going to get inside in here where you put your uh, shells in when it's fully put together. You're just going to wipe down inside it. Okay, so now that I'm done putting solvent on all the metal, I'm going to close that up because you are now done with the solvent. Now, you're just going to oil as much as you can. Everything you can. Soil it. Start with this. Just start wiping her down. Next I'll do the outside of the barrel. And just continue till you get oil on all the parts. All right, now everything's oiled. Now the fun part to this gun is getting it back together. It's a very tricky, there's one part that's very tricky to this gun and it actually took us a while to figure it out by watching videos. So we're gonna try to show it as best we can so it's easier for you guys to figure it out. So you have it pinched and you have this lined up. So the wide part and the pin, uh, the pin meet. So that way you can fit this V in, no problem. And then you slide it up. And you go to you get it pinched like that. And then you turn it over so it doesn't fall out. And still slowly let go just in case. So now that you got the firing pin mechanism back in place, you're going to take this. You're just going to slide her down like this. Go right through there. Firing pin mechanism back in the gun. All the way down. You want it like basically aligned here. And what you're going to want to do is there's two grooves right there on the gun. So right there you can see there's a metal lip. And that lip needs to go right into those grooves. So you're just going to slide it in, get that, those, those lips lined up just like that. And then you're just going to slide the action in just like that. Cock it. It's good to go. Close her up. Then you're going to take your two, your uh, pin to lock that in place. Lock it in like that. She's good to go. And then you're going to reattach your barrel. And the barrel just slides in like that. There she is. She clicks in here. Got that. And then you take this and you're going to screw her back on tight. There you go. And there you have it. Winchester Waterfowl SXP 12 gauge shotgun. That is how you disassemble and properly clean this gun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to leave a comment below if you got any questions or concerns about what we did in this video. If you're having troubles doing what we did, we can help you out. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every week. Thank you all for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. Ah!